back to my channel. My name is Sean McQuillan and I'm so happy to have you here. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be me taking you guys along to spend my £100 spend local high street prepaid card voucher thing. <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't live in Northern Ireland, everybody in the country got given £100 on a prepaid card to spend in local businesses coming out of the pandemic, give a boost to local businesses and also give everyone in the country a little treat coming up to Christmas so yeah this is the card here if you can see I don't really know what the crack is about showing numbers but I think better not than anything so yeah this is what the card looks like here it's basically just a little debit card and it's got £100 logged on it and you can spend that in any high street store that you want so yeah, I thought it would be a fun way to do a little vlog, showcase some local Northern Irish businesses, show what sort of things I'm interested in at the minute and basically just have a bit of fun and spend my £100 that the government decided to give me. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd do a little montage of getting ready because I have something very exciting to chat to you about which I'm going to tell you now. So as you saw I spent the first part of this video kind of getting ready, putting my makeup on, putting my nice outfit on and I still am to put on my jewellery and that is because this video is very kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. So Ana Luisa is an everyday luxury style jewellery brand and they specialise in sustainable pieces that are made from like recyclable materials and just don't have as much of an impact on the environment. So that is the jewellery I'm wearing today and I can't wait to show you guys what I've got. So I've got a couple of pairs of earrings and a bracelet. So they come in these really cute pouches, which are like wee velvet pouches. So I have two velvet pouches and then I have this little um, like cord one, which is also very cute as well. So I'm gonna show you that earrings that I'm actually not wearing today. These are kind of my dressier earrings. Like see if I was going out for dinner or something, these are the ones I would wear. So. This is them here. So yeah, as you can see, they're little gold hoops with like little blue, sorry about my nails, I need to redo them, but I wanna buy a new nail polish today. With little like blue gem sort of stones in them. Like they're really subtle. I'm really into like subtle jewelry, as you probably know. Yeah, I'm not into big, bold jewelry. I feel like, cause I'm quite a petite person, it doesn't really suit me to wear massive standout jewelry. So I really love small kind of understated pieces so that is why I'm absolutely obsessed with these bits from Ana Luisa they've just got a little bit of elegance to them and I just love them so much but for my everyday jewellery that I'm going that I've literally been wearing for like the past two weeks because I'm obsessed with them so these earrings they've got a little star and a moon aren't they adorable so that is what I've been wearing for the past while and I'm going to put them on again today. I think they match really well. So I've got my ears pierced twice. I just have a little, that's just the gem they give you when they pierce your ears and I just haven't taken it out because I think it matches really well with my hoop. So yeah, I'm gonna pop these in to complete my outfit. As you can see, I have the earrings in now. Aren't they actually adorable? Like they're so dainty and oh, they're dainty but very noticeable like I feel like they make a massive difference and the other piece that I'm going to be wearing today is this little gold bracelet it is actually adorable like it's so understated and just elegant and <laughs> I don't even know how to show you because I feel like I'm going to drop it so this is it here oh it's really hard to show yes as you can see that's it there it's got those little hoops like joining hoops and then we have this little A for Ana Luisa I am really sorry about my nails <laughs> And I think it's the sort of thing that would go really well with like, it actually goes really well on its own. Like I feel like it just gives you such a dainty, my phone just fell over, dainty, elegant look. And it's just a really charming piece. Like it's the sort of thing that can be dressed up, can be dressed down. You can kind of wear it for any occasion. Okay, so there we have it. It is on my wrist. Isn't that actually gorgeous? I'm so obsessed. So it has three little clasps um, around this side so you can choose depending on the size of your wrist. So I've just went for the middle one and um, yeah. So that is my jewellery, that is my outfit completed. So as I was saying, Ana Luisa is a sustainable gold 
everyday luxury jewellery brand and every piece is made in France or the US and basically their aim is to provide sustainably sourced and ethical jewellery at a reasonable affordable price so yeah so Ana Luisa is currently running a massive 20% off sale which you can check out by clicking the link in my bio and getting yourself some nice little Christmassy jewellery pieces now I'm all dressed up and ready to spend my £100 high street voucher. Let's go. Hello, so we are currently in Marks and Spencers and I know it's not a local shop, but they've kind of gone all Christmassy and there's nothing that makes me more excited than when shops like Marks and Spencers and I was gonna say British Home Stores, but it doesn't even exist anymore. All those shops go Christmassy, so I'm really feeling. I've decided that I'm having two months of Christmas this year because Christmas last year was so bad. So I'm really feeling very Christmassy already. I'm very happy about it. I also really like these sort of like leather look, like faux leather hair bubbles. They're nice. We've come into Cameron's, which is like a department store in Ballymena, and I've just struck vegan chocolate gold my life has been transformed like i cannot believe it right where do you see so they have all of these right so apart from this one and this one any that say milk chocolate obviously aren't but this is vegan these are vegan this is vegan all of these are vegan they're all vegan these are all vegan i'm not 100 percent sure which ones they're all vegan they're all vegan they're all vegan what? My mind is fully blown. I've looked at a couple of packets and I'm actually buzzing about it. later now and basically I didn't end up spending my high street voucher last week and um, I just didn't really see anything that I wanted to use it on so I didn't want to just use it for the sake of using it do you know what I mean and I'm also quite like worried about using it and then seeing something else that I am being like oh I wish I'd have bought that with it so yeah I'm having a bit of a weird time with it. It's great, it's great, like I'm not complaining. But um, I'm just really anxious about using it and then regretting what I use it for. So we'll see what happens. But I had a nice day shopping anyway. It was very nice. It was nice to go out in Balamina. Like, I love Balamina, but it's quite, it's not really far away. It's like just over an hour, maybe an hour and a half drive from us. Maybe not even that long. But. It's just a bit of a troop to get to, so we don't really go all that often. But it's a really nice wee town. There's a lot of nice wee shops and cafes. And as you saw, we went for lunch. Went to this shop called Follow Ca Follow Coffee, and I got like a sweet potato. Was it sweet potato? It was some kind of soup. I think it was soup, sweet potato and chili or something. And it was really really nice. And the bread was amazing. They did like sourdough bread with it, and it was absolutely incredible. So had that for lunch. They had quite a lot of vegan options there, I was very impressed with that, so definitely be going back there. And then we pretty much just went around a few shops. I did get a couple of things in charity shops, but I'm thinking I'm going to do like a monthly roundup. Someone suggested that in the comments, so I'm going to do a monthly roundup of what I bought in the charity shop this month, or like what I thrifted this month, because I bought a few things I've been did this month as well, so that'll be fun. Keep an eye out for that. And... Yeah, today is Friday and we're headed out to Armagh today 
because Anna's a really nice town at this time of year and also Adam's booked the day off because basically there's a library in Armagh that we really want to go to and it isn't open on the weekends. Well it wasn't the last time but then I checked the website and now it says it is so I'm really confused. I honestly don't even understand but we're, go we're going to see that anyway and I'm going to put that in a separate vlog because I don't want my vlogs to be super super long because I just don't think they're as entertaining to watch if they go on for ages and then I think people kind of like are really reluctant to click on a vlog that's really long because they're like can I commit this much time to this so I like to keep them short and sweet under 15 minutes anyway so yeah as you saw had some lovely porridge this morning I'm feeling very refreshed I'm currently just getting ready I have my lovely earrings in again and I'm ready to go out as you can see my outfit today is quite I feel like it's quite Rory Gilmore slash dark academia inspired I'll show you I really like it though so is there anything about this time of year that isn't worthy of dark academia vibes I don't know about you but I love it so this is the outfit what do you think this is from charity shop I think it's actually like a Tesco's um, top. It actually fully blends in <laughs> with my neck, this wee white bit, because I'm so pale. But I really like it. This skirt is... Oh my goodness, I have no idea where this skirt's from. It's really old tights or Sainsbury's. And then I'm going to wear the shoes at the moment. A pair of loafers. So yeah, that's the crack. I'm just getting ready. And... Other than that, I think I'm probably just going to bring this vlog to an end here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to head down below and give it a massive thumbs up. And subscribe because I upload videos every Sunday. And you won't want to miss the Armagh vlog, which will be coming next week. Especially if you're a book lover. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I love you guys so much. See you next week. Bye!